Hey guys, this is Karthik and this video is going to be about me setting up Sublime Text for myself for competitive programming because till date I've never used any good text editor for CP. But now I'll be setting up Sublime and I thought why not record it for everyone so that others can also follow along, right? So the idea is going to be that uh, you'll be using Sublime and there are going to be three files that you will need. One is going to be the file in which you write your solution. One is going to be the file in which you paste your input and finally the third file is going to be the file which contains the output. Okay, so I've already created these three files. Let me open all of them. Uh, let's say that where are the documents, codes and these, this is solution.cpp input output. Okay, you're going to have these three files. You'd like to have them in a nice layout of course. This is not good. You can't just keep opening one file uh, after the other because you you are you know limited by time in a cp contest one minute submission gives you a better rank than a two minute submission all right so after this you can go to view and probably there's something as layout and fix columns as three so now you have three columns in one column you can open input in one output and one solution these three files will be visible to you at the same time now but it's still not that good looking because we want solution to have uh, to basically contain more space on the screen so again you can go to view and i think there are groups and maximum columns too so now you can see that you have a solution on the left hand side and on the right hand side that thing is divided into two portions input and output so it looks really beautiful now at least to me so let me try put in some code here and we'll try it out how we can actually use this uh, not this submissions let me just copy paste this code Okay, so you have this solution.cpp ready and it looks so beautiful to me, honestly. I'll definitely be using this format for my future contests. Let's take an input. Oh yeah, let's take one big input. I'll put it in here. So my input.txt is ready. Uh, finally, you, you'll generate the output in the output.txt. How do you run it? So overall, there's a project and I think there must be something as build, yeah. And you can select your build system to be C++ single file. Right, after this you can go to tools, build or press control plus B, that would just build your... Let me try control plus B. C++ single file, okay. G++ is not recognized as an internal or external command. So guys, see the thing is that you need a G++ in your environment path variable. G++ is basically your C++ compiler. So you need a compiler. You need a G++.exe file, right? Now, uh, actually, if you have a compiler already, you just need to set the correct path variable. Otherwise, you need to download it from the web. So since I already have uh, code blocks installed and it does contain the compiler, I'll be using that uh, path and add it to my path variables. So system environment variables or the path variable is the path where your PowerShell or command prompt actually looks for modules and commands which are to be executed. So G++ is the command and the command prompt or the PowerShell will actually look for these places to find something known as G++. Similarly for ls and other commands of command line. So if you see that at this particular path, I do have a G++ file and I need to just give this path to the PowerShell or the command prompt. Okay, let me see how I can give that. You would need to edit your system variables. You will go to environment variables and here you will find something known as the path. So let me open command prompt. If I type in path here, this is the path where the command prompt or the power shell looks for to find something. Okay, so currently G++ is not there and I need to set a new path in this. So I'll edit this and I'll add a new path. A uh, new. I'll paste this. So a new path has been added now and whenever PowerShell is told to try and execute command, it will look for that command in all these locations. Let me set, uh, uh, like apply this thing. Let's print path now. And it didn't get added. Let me just open command prompt again. So yeah, you can see that C program files min gw bin is now out there. And if I say G++, you can see that G++ is also there. Now let me close Sublime and restart it. So you can now see that it's compiling actually. Now it's not taking the input from input.txt because we have not set that. So I'll be setting that also. Let me have an initial code that will actually take the input and output from, output from these two files. 
and you must have seen a lot of people write code like if not defined online judge then do this otherwise do something else right so let, let me set an init code and this code will say if you are running this on an online judge that means code forces or something then do not take input from input.txt and do not print output to, to this file and instead take it from the standard input console and the standard output console but if you're running it locally then you use these two files so you will go like if not defined let me just copy it from somewhere if and if online judge probably i'll find that those statements here yep i think this will do Yeah, the idea is that if you are not running this on an online judge, that means you are running it locally on your machine, then take input from these two files. Otherwise, you take input from the standard uh, input and you print output to the standard output. But if you are running it locally, use these two files. That's it. Okay. Also, I can put in my fast IO in that init code itself. And I can call in it code. Cool. Let me now. Build. So now all I need to do is press Control B to actually run this code. It will take the input from this file and whatever output it generates, it put, it will put it into the output.txt file. So I'll press Control B, and you can see that I have my output in here. So guys, that's it. If you like the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, I think this is something useful, so you can actually try this template out. I'll put the links in description and let me know if you need any other help. So bye.